evening where where we will hear your answers to questions from organizations that have come together to organize this candidate forum. This is a nonpartisan event. All candidates running for office have been invited to participate. Each candidate on each panel will be asked a total of five questions with two minutes to answer each question. You will get a 30 second warning before your time is up. So please be mindful of the chat. We ask that you please be courteous of all the participants and refrain from going over your time. We ask that you finish up your sentence at two minutes. After that, you will be muted. The questions derive from the organizations and the members represented in each organization. We have not provided the questions to any of the candidates in advance for the forum. We will begin with the candidates for the county commission, and if there is enough time, we will take questions from the attendees and the public. We will begin with three minute statements from the judicial candidates, and then we will move on to our next panel. We are conducting this panel this way to help the candidates adhere to rules set forth by the Florida Bar Association with respect to the candidates. So before uh, we get started, the uh, general rules, because again, this is a bit different as a Zoom webinar forum. Um, if you are in the audience, as I'm sure you can tell, you do not have the ability to speak or to um, uh, participate in the chat. Um, but you do have the ability to ask questions with the Q&A feature on the um, keyboard at the bottom of the Zoom screen. Um, for the congressional and um, federal candidates, we anticipate being able to um, ask some audience questions. So when those uh, questions, uh, when we are in those forums, please feel free to type questions into the Q&A feature. Um, and we will ask as many as we are able to when we are done with the coalition's questions. Um, uh, for panelists, um, the only, um, uh, we're going to be using a speaker view, which is going to zoom in on the speaker with a small board at the top for the rest of the panelists but please be aware that if your camera is on, you are visible. Um, please uh, keep yourself on mute when you're not speaking just to reduce background noise, um, but, I, but the hosts do have the ability to mute you if needed. Um, your, uh, you will be timed. Um, you're being uh, timed by the timekeeper uh, panelist, as you see. Um, and for this, we will be utilizing the chat feature. So, you will be notified in the chat window. So I suggest all panelists open the chat pane uh, when you have 30 minutes, I'm sorry, <laughs> when you have 30 seconds left um, and when your time is up at that point, Ashley will ask you to wrap up what you're currently saying. And if you do not, we will mute you manually. Alrighty, so if we could please get started with our judicial candidates of uh, their three minute statement. If any of the judicial candidates are present to please raise your hand so you can begin with your three minute statement. Let's Thank begin you. with Nathan Scott and then Abron C. Martin and then mm -hmm. um, is Sean Brewer in the room. Okay. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Thank you. Yes, uh, good afternoon. My name is Nathan Scott. After much prayer and encouragement, I'm humbly seeking election to be your next circuit court judge on August 23rd to ensure fair and equal justice for everyone in our community. I'm honored to be endorsed by former mayor and Gainesville City Commissioner, Dr. Mark Goldstein. I'm an experienced attorney, Florida Supreme Court certified circuit court mediator, and have been a member of the Florida Bar in good standing for over 15 years. During my legal career, I served the state with integrity as commissioner on the Florida Public Service Commission, served as guardian at Lydum, served as general counsel for a company with global annual revenues exceeding $180 million. I'm proud to be a double gator, a multidiscipline education includes a JD, an MBA, and a BS in aerospace engineering. Also completed the merger and acquisitions executive, excuse me, executive education program at the Wharton School of Business. While attending UF Law, I had the honor and privilege of completing a judicial externship in the criminal division of the Eighth Judicial Circuit Court under the Honorable Robert P. Cates, who subsequently swore me into the Florida Bar. Upon graduating from law school, I was appointed to serve the state of Florida as commissioner of the Florida Public Service Commission. As a commissioner, I conducted evidentiary hearings, ruled on motions, ruled on objections, issued orders, wrote concurring and dissenting opinions, 
and adjudicated administrative law cases subject to direct appeal to the Florida Supreme Court. As commissioner, I implemented the solar net mating rule that was also recognized as being one of the best in the nation and also implemented the most ambitious energy efficiency and conservation goals in Florida's history. Prior to attending law school at age 37, I had a distinguished engineering and business career that included building batteries for the space station in Alachua, building nuclear submarines for general dynamics, building airplanes for Boeing, managing renewable energy projects for the nation's largest renewable energy provider. Part of the legal profession is giving back to the community by providing pro bono representation to those in need of legal services. Most recently, I served as pro bono counsel to help 42 property owners protect their historic rural African-American community and the Long Pond Cemetery in Archer, Florida. After 16 months of helping people in need, a win-win agreement was reached that allowed the San Bluff Solar Project to proceed with community support in a more compatible location. I wanted to personally thank the NAACP, Ms. Evelyn Fox, for their assistance for helping us protect a historic rural African-American community and Long Pond Cemetery, and the McMillans, Robinsons, Roundtrees, and other families in Archer and Gainesville are equally grateful. In my remaining time, I wanted to briefly talk about our shared values, inclusiveness, and negative stereotypes. Nearly every group represented here today has faced discrimination and adversity. When African-American property owners needed help in Archer, I was there to help them. I also know what solidarity is. As a union member, I walked the picket line with burn barrels during the largest white-collar strike in U.S. history. Yes, Nathan was in the union. Imagine that. Shared values and reality instead of false stereotypes. As a nonpartisan judicial candidate, I also had my signs recently vandalized with, per per excuse me, vandalized with permanent markers and custom printed decals in a city that claims to be inclusive and welcoming for everyone. Again, false stereotypes do not reflect reality. Yes, I've rightfully been critical of the ongoing mismanagement of GRU at the hands Mr. of the city Scott, commission. If you can please stop. Yeah, um, I, I, it should can be within three minutes. Yeah, yes, okay. So in closing, I hope that voters will honor me with the support based on our shared values, my experience and commitment to ensure fair and equal justice for everyone in our community. Our website is vote for judge um, is scottforjudge.com and please vote Nathan Scott for circuit court judge on August 23rd. Thank you. All righty, thank you. If we can now have a bronze C Martin. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, once again, my name is Abronsi Martin, and I'm a candidate for circuit court judge. Uh, let me begin by saying this. Um, it's a rare thing to elect a circuit court judge. Um, most individuals don't really have a clear idea of what it means uh, to be a judge, what we do. And when it comes to voting for one, um, when you look on the ballot, you have no idea who these folks are for the most part. Uh, so it's a, a good thing, and I'm very grateful for this opportunity to come out and introduce myself. So unlike any other individual who you would hear from this evening, judges, um, we don't have agendas. Uh, we don't wave the party banner. Uh, we're not a Republican or Democrat. The only thing that we can promise you is that we're going to be fair and impartial in uh, performing our duties. So how do you know that you can trust that a particular individual can do that? Well, you had to go back to their bio, bio. Uh, their experience, uh, what, what they've done, gives you some insight of who they are. I've been a public defender here in Alachua County for 24 years. I'm currently a felony division chief, past president of the 8th Division Circuit Bar Association. I'm a certified family and county mediator. And one thing that I've learned over these 24 years, uh, in fact, one of the things that I've seen during this entire time that I've been campaigning uh, all over this circuit, which comprises six counties, Alachua, Baker, Levy, Gilchrist, Union, uh, that there is a deep mistrust um, on both sides as to whether or not the government, uh, the judiciary will actually be fair and impartial. And one of the things that I will promise you is that I will wake up every day uh, as the next circuit court judge, ensuring not only that I do my job fair and impartially, but that the public believes that. In fact, I was attending one of these uh, forums last night, and that theme came through, that they ultimately did not trust what a judge does. And if the judiciary cannot be trusted, uh, then it's completely ineffective. So what I ask you to do is look at my background, uh, look at my history, and then make a decision whether or not you can trust me uh, to be the next circuit court judge. And I am confident that you absolutely will. 
please uh, look at my website, A Martin for Judge. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Uh, you can look at my history, uh, look at my accomplishments, and then make a judgment for yourself. Thank you. Please remember, vote for Bronson Martin on August 23rd. All righty. Thank you, Mr. Martin. If we can now have um, Mr. Sean Brewer. You're, you're on mute, sir. There you go. My name is Sean Brewer. I've lived in Alachua County since 1989. Uh, when I came up here to go to college, um, I, uh, I ended up with three degrees from the University of Florida, including my law degree with honors in 1996. Most important thing I did when I got here was I met my wife. Uh, Laura Quisling Brewer in 1991. Um, Laura grew up here in Gainesville, and we were married here in Gainesville in 1995. Professionally, one of the constants throughout my career is that I care about children. I've been an assistant state attorney uh, for 24 years, and during that time, I've specialized in crimes against women and children. This includes child abuse cases. This includes domestic abuse cases. This includes child sex abuse cases. This includes adult sex abuse cases. I prosecuted these cases. I prosecuted them when I started in Marion County. I prosecuted these cases in Levy County, where I worked for approximately three years. And I prosecuted them in Alachua County, where I've been for the past 18 years, 10 of those years being supervisor of the Division of Crimes Against Women and Children. One of the things that is important to note is that the, the circuit court is a trial court. And I've been a trial attorney for 24 years. I've tried multiple murder cases in Alachua and Levy counties, all resulting in convictions. Some of those murder cases being domestic violence, abuse murder cases. I've tried cases with child victims. I know how to have those tough conversations with kids because I've had them in parts of the last four decades. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important because it's very likely that the winner of this election is going to be put into family law to be a judge. Now, not only have I worked with kids, have I worked on the cases where kids have been abused, I've raised a family in this community. I have three children. I have a 20-year-old, a 17-year-old, and a 14-year-old. I know what the issues are for families in this community. I've also coached about 125 different teams, including five years of baseball at Lincoln Middle School. I know the issues that we're facing. I have the trial experience. I have the family experience. And I have the temperament that, to be fair to all people involved in the judicial system. Please check out my website at backbrewer.com. And I ask for your vote on August 23rd or during early voting. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Brewer. If we can now have Mr. Weissman. All right. Well, thank you to you and everyone else for hosting this forum so that we can get to know all of our candidates. My name is Dan Weisman, and I'm running for circuit court judge because I love our town. I love our county. I love our whole little uh, slice of things up here in North Central Florida and because we need justice in our community. To have a stable community, we need justice. Now, after growing up here in Gainesville, this has been my hometown since kindergarten. After growing up here in Gainesville and going to the University of Florida for law school, I volunteered to go into the infantry because I believe in service and I've always been moved by the sacrifice of our grandfather's generation. After my time in the infantry, I was accepted into law school here at the University of Florida. So I'm a double gator. And back here in law school is where I met my wife. We moved to Tampa and I was hired by the Attorney General's office. And I worked for the Attorney General's Office of Statewide Prosecution for a number of years. And I developed what could only really be called a specialty of getting brought into communities with bad, violent gang problems, 
And what we would do is we would do long-term investigations to build racketeering cases against street gangs. So I've seen the devastation that can be done to our communities from violent crime. We would typically arrest all of the violent gang members that we could develop righteous charges on, and I would often charge 5, 10, 15, 20 people at a time and prosecute them all in court together, which often culminated in major multi-defendant trials. After doing that for a number of years, once our boys came along, I was ready for a little bit of a change of pace, so I've been in private practice for a number of years now. I've done a number of cases in civil court, which uh, you know I can discuss uh, when, when I have a little bit more time than just a couple minutes. I've done a, number, a lot of work for my fellow veterans, regardless of whatever their legal needs might be. And because I was sufficiently seasoned as a prosecutor, people often turn to me when they've been accused of a crime. And the main thing that I bring to this election and the main thing that I would bring to the bench is a broad across the aisle perspective to the bench, all right? Now, a lot of the best judges that I practiced in front of, not all of them, but a lot of the best ones are judges that have had broad experience in life and in the law. And having been a prosecutor and a good one and a defense attorney and a good one is going to give me the perspective thank to you, make Mr. everybody Weisman, court feel please, like Rebecca. they've had a fair shake. So thank you much. I'd appreciate your vote. Thank you to our candidates. If we can now have our next panel, including candidates from the state 